My name is Cody Watson from Washington and Lee University, and I'm here to present on learning meaningful assert statements for unit test cases. This work was done in collaboration with Michaela Tefano from Microsoft, Kevin Moran from Lee and Mary, Gabriella Bavoda from Universita della Vizera Italiana, and Dennis Pashavanek from Lee and Mary. As software engineers, we understand the importance and the value of software testing. In fact, software testing is the most expensive phase of the software lifecycle. Our work here focuses on unit testing, which is the foundation for future testing of a software system. It provides the basis for integration testing, system testing, and its acceptance testing. Currently, there are two primary tools used to address the generation of test methods and their associated assert statements. The first of these tools is Randoop, which generates unit test cases using feedback-directed random test generation. This tool intelligently generates sequences of method invocations for a class under test. Then it executes the sequences it creates using the results of the executions to create assertions that capture the behavior of the program. The second tool, EvoSuite, is another test suite generation tool, which uses a mutation-based approach. This, mut this approach mutates the focal method of interest and hopes that the assert statement generated accurately captures the bug introduced by the mutation. These tools have undergone extensive analysis to measure their effectiveness. However, the research found that these tools demonstrated a lackluster performance in their ability to detect real-world faults. This was primarily due to the inability for the tools to create effective and meaningful assert statements. We saw this as an opportunity to supplement these test generation tools with our new technique. Rather than implement different heuristics or a mutation-based approach, we implemented a learning-based approach to determine if we could generate assert statements similar to those written by real developers. To do this, we make use of the tool Deep Learning, specifically neural machine translation. We begin by taking test method in conjunction with the focal method as input sequences. We then subject those sequences to a series of neural networks, which then produce newly translated assert sequences. Let's further discuss the implementation of our neural machine translation model. We developed this deep learning model in three distinct parts. The encoder, seen in orange, the attention vector, seen in red, and the decoder, seen in green. The encoder's responsibility is to take the sequence of tokens, in our case, the test method and focal method, and encode them into a feature-rich latent representation. This representation accounts for the context of the tokens in the forward and backwards direction. The attention vector is responsible for determining what parts of the encoding sequence have the most significant impact on the token currently being translated by the decoder. You can see here that E3 has a greater impact on what is decoded in D4 than any other part of the encoding sequence. Lastly, the decoder uses the context from the encoded sequence, the attention vector, and any previously decoded tokens to decode the next token in the sequence. This model is fundamental to our approach we call ATLAS, or Automatic Learning of Assert Statements. We want to highlight five major steps of our approach, beginning with the test method mining. Here we extract all JUnit test methods from over 17,000 GitHub projects. Our next step is to identify the focal method that the test method is testing. We then generate test method assert statement pairs, which are used as input to our neural machine translation model. We generate a raw and abstracted data set as part of our pre-processing technique. And finally, we subjected our data to our neural machine translation model for training and evaluate the model's capability of generating meaningful assert statements. Let's briefly take a look at an example test method. These methods can get extremely complex, and our goal is still to correctly predict the highlighted assert statement. These methods are also abstracted using a tokenization technique for our abstracted data set. Our next important step is to identify the focal method that is being tested within the test method. Aligning the ideals from previous research, we assume that the method call with the closest proximity to the assert statement is the focal method. In the example shown here, is entry is the focal method since it exists within the assert statement, therefore having the closest proximity. However, if is empty did not exist, then the previous method call would be considered the focal method. Once we've identified the focal method, we extract all identifiers, operators, and literals within that focal method. It's important to note we do not consider any structure or language keywords as important context. We then attach these series of tokens to the end of our test method to provide context to the neural machine translation model. 
Our last step is to finally remove the identified assert statement and replace it with a placeholder token, seen here. Therefore, we generate a tap or a test method assert statement pair, which will serve as our training data for the neural machine translation model. The data is comprised of the input to the model, which is the test method plus the focal method context, and the output of the model, consisting of the assert statement. After we've trained the model, we proceed with some experiments and results to quantify the validity of our model. Our first research question determines if our approach Atlas is able to generate meaningful assert statements that resemble those written by developers. Here, we analyze perfect predictions, meaning that our neural machine translation model is able to perfectly generate the same assert statement that the developer wrote. Our abstracted model per outperformed that of our raw model by correctly predicting almost 5,000 assert statements. We also implemented something called beam search, which is able to generate multiple assert statement candidates for a single test method. We found the greatest increased performance with beam search without burdening the developer to manually analyze all the generated assert statements to be around 10. With a beam size of 10, we can correctly predict over 24% and over 55% perfect assert statements within our raw and abstracted data set respectively. In addition to this, we wanted to analyze the imperfect predictions of the model to determine if they were still useful, even though they were not exactly what the developer had written. We found that by only changing one token, it is possible to convert close to 24% of the imperfect assert statements into perfect predictions. Likewise, we found that about 10% of the imperfect predictions still represented a valuable and correct assert statement. They were just not exactly what the developer had written. In this figure, it shows a distribution of the number of edit operations needed to take the imperfect predictions and make them perfect predictions. As you can see, it would take a relatively low number of edit operations to perform this. The last research question we want to address in this talk is RQ2, where we look at what type of assert statements we're able to predict. The red bars here show how many of a particular type of assert statement is contained within our test set, and the light orange bars represent the number of perfectly predicted assert statements from that type that we were able to generate. As you can see, our model is capable of producing an assert statement identical to the one written by developers for each assert statement found within our data set. In conclusion, we created an approach called Atlas to learn from developer written assert statements in hopes to generate assert statements for previously unseen test methods. We obtained TAPS by identifying and extracting context from the focal method being tested. And finally, we demonstrate that Atlas is able to generate assert statements resembling those written by developers. Thank you.